so you may see a raptor but this video isn't just for raptors this is for pretty much all the f1 f150 series that has the same cab style but back here is a hidden compartment which you could access but it's a pain in the butt but there's an adapter you could use that allows you to easily access this end which allows it to fold like so kind of like that side that side let me show you this side has this little latch right here where you can just pull down and allow you to store more stuff down here as well as that in this is normally when the sound system and other stuff is located so your amplifier and stuff like that depending on what kind of sound system your vehicle is equipped with but here's more space if you want to modify your subwoofer or something like that along that nature or keep some spare tools back here let me fold this one up and uh, this box right here is the adapter that we'll be using to quickly attach a similar latch like this but to that side now this kit I found on Amazon for a little over $15 and uh, from its reviews and stuff it looks to be really well built and it is it feels like it's made out of metal and you don't have to get it in red they also come in black but this part's going to be tucked away in behind the seats so it doesn't really matter because nobody's going to see it until it's open but i went ahead and used red but the little latch that you pull it's going to be oem color so let's go ahead and quickly install this and i'll include the link to this in the video description for you guys so what we'll be doing is we're going to have to remove these screws as you guys will see, the bracket just attaches down here. But before we get started on that, I want to quickly show you how to get back here. So, let me pull this back up. It's not going to lock. I'm not going to lock it because it's a pain in the butt to do it with one hand. But in order to get back here, you have to reach your hand down. Oh, also remember to fold up the seats before you do this. Now you have room back here. And you're going to feel that little latch. And it's going to be the loose one right here. And you simply just pull up like so and it, it, this will release this little thing that allows the seat to fold down also pro tip fold down your headrest when you're when you have it up like press down to fold it up to give you more room but once you have this thing down let's go ahead and install the bracket so we need these words i don't know what number they are i'll put it on the bottom of the screen for you guys but we need to find this head all right so it's a t30 it's the size you need to remove these things and I recommend using one of these because these things are actually really really tight and they do give you instruction guides here but I mean like to the most part everything is pretty much self-explanatory so once you successfully removed it you're gonna take this little part right here and you need to attach it to this so once you have it like this you don't have to actually do what i was doing you can simply just slide it in because this little thing slides in like so and then you see it keeps everything in place once you have it all attached it keeps everything in place so nothing moves and you simply just feed this through and then the finished product should look like this so make sure all the holes line up and then the adapter pretty much looks like this and then the pulling mechanism goes through the little gap they give you and just bolt everything back up to original like how it was pro tip try not to do what i did there unless you want that i'm just gonna leave it because it doesn't do anything just an FYI. But other than that, I mean the mechanism, as you can see, if we pull, it opens it up slightly. But once it's attached, it's fully gonna open. And uh yeah, so place this back in order. Put the seats up, bring up the seats just a bit to fully press it in. And then now we have a little thing right here we could pull. So the seats are in everything moves and then if we want ever want to access the back port simply just pull on this with the seats up of course and then pull and it opens 
I was grabbing this one on that to it. And yeah. So yeah, only thing I'm not a huge fan of, you have to actually reach in here. I guess this is actually a hidden compartment now to grab that little latch to grab this thing because it's never going to stick out automatically. But yeah, works like a glove. Only thing you got to remember is to always bring this up so it could attach. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Hidden compartment, hidden access. And that's my friend, is a quick and easy mod you could do to quickly get access to the back seats secret compartment of course i'll be sure once again to link the product in the video description down below for anybody who's also interested in doing this cheap mod literally costs under 20 dollars and this works on all pretty much all the newest generation f-150 lineups including the raptor anyway guys if you found this video helpful and informative i would really appreciate if you could leave this video a big thumbs up as that out lets me know but that also strongly helps support and also get subscribed if you're not we're halfway there to 1000 it'll be really awesome if we could actually hit it really soon but as always thank you guys so much for watching take care and i'll catch you in the next one peace